As the battle of the nations continues, expect highly offensive language. Previously, two nations went to war. He is the glue to the British side. They took out our glue. You let yourself down, sweetheart. Oh, you're a failure to Britain. All y'all need to just fall back. Why are you coming at me with attitude? I just want to punch you. You full of shit. You want me to talk some shit? Shut your door. Go fix yourself. The gloves are off. Tonight, Britain's first casualty. Second to be evicted is Chris. And fierce to fierce nominations leave the house on the brink. You laugh at me when my back is turned, and it's disgusting. I'm not going to get out of line with you, Miss Dickinson, but you're going to let me talk. That was absolutely categorically out of line. No amount of lip gloss will disguise the ugliness that lives inside of you. I hope everyone votes for me, just like so him. So do I. Satan should sit down. She just went through hell. There's no going back from that. Dear 13, 9.34 a.m. Housemates are waking up feeling positive. Today is going to be a great day. Tonight, Bobby, Chloe, Jasmine and Stevie, Gail and Chris are facing the public vote. I hope you're clocking this, Chris. This is gorgeous mm -hmm. stuff. Oh, Janice, do a bit more. Just do another one. I got wood. Please stop leaving your husband. Uh, oh, I might leave you today. Well, you know, don't leave you for that mistress. <laughs> Happy to leave this. <laughs> oh, Janice. Last night, Gail was angry at Chloe Jasmine for not knowing where the saucepans are kept. I was giving her your, your loveliness as some confidence talks last night. Yeah, yeah, she said that, Jan, so there, yeah, thank you. You know, because someone had, someone had said something to her about, like, not knowing where the kitchen um, stuff was, and it really hurt her feelings. And, oh, sorry, that would be me. You owe her an apology, then. She was very hurt. And it's so emotional, darling. You don't understand. I'm putting on a microphone. Just give someone the right to listen to every single thing you say. It's rude. It's emotional. It's what? It's highly emotional. Oh, highly emotional. Do you not think so? I don't know what you said with that weird accent of yours. It's not there. It's that's not how it sounds at all. A bit. There's, a, there's certain things that people can't get, and to lash out at them is pain. I is... didn't lash out. Oh, well. I just said I just thought it was odd after 12 days people didn't know where things were. Um, sugar. That was it. There was no nastiness. Just well, didn't get it. That was all. It really hurt her feelings. Oh well. Oh well. Right. She'll be okay. No, she won't. You know, you know, you need to yeah. sort it out. You know, I mean, I do, you know, I do get Chloe because, I mean, she's she's one of those, she's a bit like me, girl. We we're very both sensitive and very quite, you know, you know what I mean? But, um... I wouldn't say anything about anything. You know. Morning. You all right, mate? Yeah, yeah. It's Chloe, I apologise for saying that you didn't know where the pans were because apparently it's a big thing now. No, no, it's just the way you spoke to me. I, I found it a bit upsetting, but I, I didn't want to say anything to you. Well, you'd be as well too, because then everyone's talking about it this morning. Everyone? What well, do you mean? It, not and everyone. Well, everyone that's in this room. Not everyone. Just me so two and people. Stevie. So two well, people. Okay, two people that are in this yeah, room. You've been yeah. doing it quite a lot to me. Sorry, I apologise. Like these little remarks. Sorry. They're catty. No, but you're not sincerely sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. I need a hug. For me? Yeah. 
It's a hamster. Thank you. Two twenty-four p.m. Stevie and Chloe Jasmine are sharing a moment. I adore you. I love you. You can say so much. Gorgeous. You're gorgeous. You really are. Mm. Okay. Kiss her. Mm. Have you fallen for me, baby? Ages ago. <laughs> I'm still on the ground. <laughs> mm. Janice is talking to Big Brother about Chloe Jasmine. Chloe Jasmine is a junior version of me. Maybe I was Chloe Jasmine in another life, or maybe Chloe Jasmine was me in another life, but she's extremely well-bred. And others in the house have made fun of her accent, especially Austin, which I find rude because he's always calling me Janice. He does it to get on my nerves, I know it, but I've never heard anyone from the Midwest speak with that kind of a, an accent, so he's doing it on purpose. It's very calculated. It's quite mean-spirited, if you want, because that's not how you pronounce my name. My name is Janice. In, in French, it's Janice. In Italian, it's Janitza. With a Texan drawl, it's Janice, not Janice. He's, he's getting the, um, the, 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 the syllable, Jan ass. So I can break it down because I didn't fall off a tomato truck. I didn't fall off a tomato, 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 potato, potato truck, you see. Coming up, Gail's had enough. They're driving me fucking crazy. <laughs> I just, I'm done now, I'm done with this. <laughs> I can't, it's not my nature to deal with this shit. And Fiesta Fierce nominations rock the house. I just don't think that you guys should be here. I think you'd be better on the outside. <laughs> 6 11 p.m. Chloe Jasmine is worrying about tonight's eviction. I'm really nervous, Steve. I'm really, actually, I'm getting really nervous now. Me too. I just want, you know, I just want people to like us. That's all I like. Chloe. I don't want people to be looking at the TV like. Chloe, everyone at these wants to be like. Idiots. No, we're not, babe. Not everyone's going to like us. That's know, just the way life know, is, babe. I know. There's a lot of people who don't like me, you know. But you know, me why too. change who you are? I know. Those two. Which two? The girls or? Stevie and Chloe. I'm just a ball of nerves. Oh, God, I'm done with them now. I'm sorry. I don't know what to do, me. Is she crying? Of course she is. They're driving me fucking crazy. <laughs> I just, I'm done now. I'm done with this. <laughs> I can't. It's not my nature to deal with this shit. You sure you're right? No, I can't really upset. Don't get upset. I'll uh, be stop. fine. Stop this. This is the scariest part, BB. It really is. It's like all your nerves come crashing down and you're drilling and your heart's pumping. It can, nothing can prepare you, you know? And if you can control it, then great. And if you can't, it will eat you alive. It will kill you. A couple have never won it before either, have they? Maybe I'm dreaming. Maybe I'm just uh, I'm jumping the gun when I when I'm saying that. And and yeah, it probably won't happen. But you know what? Maybe anything's possible. But me and Chloe are just ourselves. We love each other. We're getting along, and we're just being us. Oh, fag's gone out now. Nine thirty-eight p.m. Big Brother has gathered the housemates for tonight's eviction. Well, good luck, everybody. Thank you. Good luck, Good luck, everybody. Good luck, Good luck, Good luck, Good luck, Good luck, This guy's so serious now. Listen, I think it's still about me. <laughs> I think it's still about me. Is it 
Farah. The Celebrity Thank Big you. Brother House. This is Emma. Hi, Emma. Hi, I love you. For the last two days, the British public have been voting to save. I can now reveal the celebrity housemate with the fewest votes and second to be evicted is... Chris. See you later, guys. <laughs> Chris, you have lost your place in the Celebrity Big Brother house. You have 30 seconds to say your goodbyes. Thank you. Thank you. Ten eleven p.m. Jenna is talking to GMs about the eviction. Chris was ready. Yeah. He was ready. I think he was, and Gail was. You know, Gail wanted, wants to go home. I think Gail's was more from. Trust me. Soon, real Gail's gonna come out. Yeah. She's got a beast in her. Cool. Mm -hmm. Good. I I no. can't wait. I just don't want to be in her line of fire. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Gail has come to talk to Big Brother. I'm going to be here till the end. I've decided. There's no point. I thought, I think because it was the first time I've been up for nomination, well, I've been nominated, I just sort of, like, wrote myself off. But now everyone in the house has actually been really nice and they don't want me to go and... Yeah, so I shouldn't take it too personally because I still don't really know why I got nominated. I didn't listen to the reasons. But I do know that I think um, a lot of people think that um, I, I can't cope with the arguments and I can't cope with uh, the amount of competitiveness there is, which I think they're probably right, because I am sensitive, but I've been voted in by the British public, so sod it. I'm just going to go for it. How does it feel to be saved by the British public? I think I got myself to that. I was literally 99% sure. I was like, I'm out. It's me, definitely, 100%, because I couldn't see a fault in Chris. And um, Stevie and Chloe, just because they're like some sort of pantomime horse thing. Stevie's really nice, but Chloe's just, just doing my head in. And I don't mind if she sees this or whatever. She's just, just not with it. And I don't even think it's real. I think it's half of it's an act which is getting on me. The deep, dark gale. <laughs> 10 47 p.m. The housemates have been gathered. Big Brother has told the housemates that Scoop is no longer their president. Housemates, right now it's nominations time. I knew oh it. Oh my God. And tonight it will be face to face. What housemates don't know is that there'll be a fake eviction with a twist on Friday night. Jenna, stand oh, I up. It. I knew it. Can I please? I knew it. I was going to get called out. OK. My first nomination, sadly, is Bobby. Bobby, in the first few days of him being here, he really got my goat. You know, there were a few things that he said that really hit me as disrespectful. Maybe I wasn't really used to the game at that point, but it really struck me as deluded, and it bothered me. Mm -hmm. um, my second nomination is Stevie and Chloe Jasmine, oh even God, though I'm so obsessed That's with nice you guys. Oh my God, I'm not that pet oh, can we have that? I just don't think that you guys should be here. I think you'd be better on the outside. And I just don't want anything to really affect your guys' relationship. And the more you're here, the more it's affecting you guys. And I hate seeing you cry. And I just feel that to be here, you have to be strong. You have to, like, have that sand. And I just don't think that you do. Sherry, Woo. stand up. <laughs> and give the name of your first nomination and explain your reasons. OK, in my part, this is total strategy. Americans 
versus Brits. So, Farah, I'm you because, strategically wise, you're American. Um, and I don't think we have a relationship yet. Okay. So the relationship hasn't developed, and so therefore, I think, you know, maybe another time. But basically, it's because you're American. OK, thank you. <laughs> the next one is uh, Jenna, basically because you're American, but also because we've not actually had a personal relationship and not had a connection again. And so therefore, I don't think we have got any kind of nowhere to go right now. Right. Thank you very much. Nowhere to go. Right. James. Give the name of your first nomination and explain your reasons for this nomination. I'm going to go with the hardest one first. Um, Stevie and Jasmine, Chloe Jasmine. Stevie, you're the man. And I love you, That's right? right. I love you know you that. Too. Chloe, you know, I think a lot about you too. You're an individual. And it's nice to be different, you know? It's good to be different. Not everyone's going to get you, but that doesn't matter. You can't please everybody, but I feel that you spend a lot of time in the smoking area when. I'd like to probably see you more interacting with other people in the house. You know, I just feel as though that if it was just one of you, if it was just you, Stevie, that you wouldn't be up here now. OK, mate. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Yeah, it does, James. Thank you. Now, this, this person is somebody that I've put a lot of time into um, for various reasons, because we're a similar age, Farrah. Um, you know, Looking I, I kind of... Looking hot. Hella fine in that shit. fucking picture. You know, I don't think for one minute half the stuff you say you mean it. I just feel as though that's your way of protecting yourself. That's the, one of the reasons why I've wanted to try and put a lot of energy and time into you because, yeah, I want to really find out who you are and feel like you've got a friend in here as well. Because, you know, I know what it's like to go through shit in life, you know? But I'm, I do, I'm sure, you know, I think you're a lovely person inside. All right? Well, well done. James, you can sit down. I have not put a lot of thought into this choice, but I love this person truly. Gail Porter, my truth is, you like to be in charge. You like to do the house cleaning. I don't want to step on your toes, but you know, and I'm not, but I don't want to start a row. I see you f flushing, you know, and, and just get and really, really sad. It's just, it breaks my heart to see, to have witnessed how you've just been really sad and afraid and, and fearful. And anyway, uh, that, yeah, that's, where I, that's why I chose you. That's, that's fine, crack on. I don't understand what that means, but my next choice is Scoop. I chose you because I feel the triple, the, the three musketeers I've called you. Thick as thieves, and that's cool. But as president of this house, I don't think you, you really hit the mark as being a leader. Listen, you don't even have to say anything else. I'm good. Sorry, I have to pay. Coming up, nomination confrontation. You are possibly one of the ugliest people I have ever had to have the misfortune of sharing my time with you. I have never Sarah. been that fucking vile to anyone, nor have I spoke for well, someone. We're not putting you to a vote. You're getting my opinion. Expect highly offensive language. Eleven twenty-seven p.m. Housemates have been nominating face to face for 40 minutes. Bobby is next to nominate. The first person I'm going to nominate is truly a beautiful woman. However, beauty does not exist totally on the outside. It has to be coming from the inside. And I'm going to say something that might hurt you, young lady. But I've you can't hurt me, Bobby. That's OK. Well, let me say my piece. You are possibly one of the ugliest people I have ever had to have the misfortune of sharing my time with. No amount of lip gloss will disguise the ugliness that lives inside of you. It's not true. I say that because I don't know your background. I know nothing about you. I tried. I asked Scoop. 
what do you think if I've got to speak to her, I'd understand you and understand why you are so venomous, why you have so much vileness inside of you that comes spilling out every time you feel as though you're being attacked. It's so unattractive. It is so dreadful to watch because I would love for you to be the complete beautiful person that I know you could be if only you would drop your defences and not attack every time. This is, I'm sorry, I'm sorry but, but this, I'm I mean, you're not supposed to be battering her. I'm not battering her. Oh, it's her. his I personal mean, opinion that's wrong, but go ahead. Take all night, Bobby. Please, let me just finish, because I want to finish on trying to be a positive note. You go, well, it's not positive to you, I know, and you might smile and laugh, and I know it's hurting you inside. Sweetie, I know. none of this hurts me, because I can tell you why I was upset. I can tell you why, well, here we word go again. for word, what had happened. It is my nomination. So and I, can, I, I like applaud you. Finish? I thank applaud you, you on you. trying to bring a woman down. No, Don't tell me it isn't that I'm going to be crushed, that. that I'm going to be brought down, oh, okay. and I'm a so happy, glorious, praising God woman. Okay. Go for it. I hope by what I've said to you, it will soften your approach to other people's feelings. Because I've seen you upset Natasha. I've seen you upset Gail. And you've tried to upset me. Personal shit shouldn't come into it. Just try and control that anger inside of you and that nastiness inside of you. If you could, you would be so much a more attractive person. And I'm not trying to be some godly, gracious person, but I want that for you. No, I'll try. Why Thank you don't? You. Okay, my second nomination is Gail. Gail, you have struggled with the turmoil that has been existing in this house via all our fallings out, all the arguments, caused, in my opinion, by people's attitudes and non-respect, and they just go hell for leather, and they don't give a shit about anybody's feelings. Well, I do. I, I do. You, young lady, of course, so many, so many... I think you're talking about Gail, right? No, I'm going on to talk about Gail. Uh, no thank you, I get the whole fucking rude. spotlight. That's, uh, that's just rude. Well, that's right, what I am to you. Just take it, just take it. That's right. what I am. So I'm going to show you it now. So I'm going to show you it. Just take it, because he's going to look like a girl. I'm glad. I'm glad. I, I hope you're so right. So I take Gail and... <laughs> what a genius. I, I can handle it. There's other folk here that can handle it. But one person that can't handle it is Gail. And you don't give a toss about how that young lady feels. She has worked her proverbial tits off for us in this house. That is so up. fucking weird. Just to let you know, Gail, I really appreciate you. And I really try but to show that every day. Can you let me finish? You're welcome. This is Big Brother. I don't give a this fuck. This is Bobby's nomination. Thank All you. of the housemates must remain silent nope. while Bobby nominates. Thank you. You all have your turn in a moment. No, Satan should fucking sit down. There you go again. Because that's what you are, oh my sweetheart. God. No. Come on, guys. Oh, honey, that's it's what okay. you are. I have never Farrah. been that fucking vile to anyone, nor have I spoke for well, someone. We're not putting you to a vote. You're getting my opinion. And right. I'm entitled you know to what? my opinion. I didn't ask for fucking opinions. I asked to hear a fucking vote. Okay. So dipshit number two should fucking sit hey, down. Hey, 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 hey. This is that ain't right. Farrah should sit down it's, on the sofa come on. No, immediately. I'm not. Come on, I hope everyone votes for me. Just like so him. So do I. Please, because Farrah, then, Farrah, Farrah maybe, please get a grip. Maybe the and, and apologize to him. I'm not that fucking was, that apologizing. Was, that was absolutely coming. categorically out of, out of line. And oh, I won't I'm sorry have for calling him a dipshit. Just, an just let them do their here. thing, you okay? You a hole for yourself. Oh my you know what? God. I have the hole so deep that you fucking bury me and you're there and you're raising your hand. I'm not, I haven't raised you my hand You sick again. fucking bastard. It is Look my turn. Me. I'm not going to say here. Farah, it's my turn. Let I'm, not, I'm not going to have such a game. We're playing the game, and shit. we're playing it's it right. truthfully. I play a game, I give an answer, I share an opinion, and I move on. I didn't ask for vile ass Bobby shit. Bobby should sit down. Farah should sit down. Disgusting freak. Can I just say, for, to finalise Big Brother, to watch Gail um, feeling being so upset by the turmoil that's in this house, I vote, and I hope that she will be voted out just to save her feelings because I care about her and I think she's a nice Dude, person. Dude, I am so distraught by disgusting shit. I think everybody, whatever, we're taking a round of applause. I've else. said my piece. I'm not going to applaud God. that. Thank God. It was so peaceful. OK, so my first nomination is Farah. Um, since we've gotten to the house, we haven't gelled. We've had a few crosswords. I decided to make a real effort with you. 
I sat with you when we talked about things and I felt like we'd made progress in our relationship. And then later that evening, you, you made a provoked attack on me. I'm not going to be calm anymore because I feel like if you see a weakness in someone, you're going to pick on it. And I'm not a weak person, so I'm hoping that mm -hmm. me standing up to you was showing you that I'm made of more than what you are. My second nomination, I'm sorry, Jenna, it's going to have to be you. The other night, when you came in at the end of a conversation, I was sat on the bed and you were stood up and I tried repeatedly to say, please sit down and listen to me. And you wouldn't. That, that is my reason why I voted for you. Farah, give the name of your first nomination this and is, explain yep, your reasons for this, for this Natasha. nomination. Natasha, from the day one when I got in here, you and Austin both together had your issues with me and you made sure that I went up to the tower first. That's why, and many other words were done. Also, every time when you have an issue with me, you go around, you spread the whole negativity to your whole fake team. Stevie comes through. I just Sorry. feel like you're a fake ass person. True. I really wish you all the best in your life and for your whole family. Right. Next one. James, the reason why I'm voting for you, there were three people who got the water turned off, hot water, and I think it was in respect to you were saying I would vote for fair out or something that day. So I did vote for Chloe. I would have done Janice that day, but I'm still going to be voting for you. Come so, at me. There we go. Farah, uh, as you've displayed this evening, you don't seem to be that nice of a girl. I've been through loss in my life, and it's something that I've taken on board and taken account for my actions and have never behaved the way that you behave. It doesn't behaved. come from a place of loss. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm just finishing. So there's for Farah, Stevie, and Chloe. You guys are great. You know this. Um, Chloe, yeah, you're so cheery and great all the time. I don't know how it makes me nauseous, but it does. I don't have any women in my life who prance around like you do. Uh, you're wearing a tiara right now. I think that's a perfect example of that. I think you're a very delicate, graceful woman. Your cheeriness is just annoying to me. Because you don't have any. Gail, give the name of your name for you. Come at me. There we go. Farah, uh, as you've displayed this evening, you don't seem to be that nice of a girl. I've been through loss in my life, and it's something that I've taken on board and taken account mm -hmm. for my actions and have never behaved the way that you behave. It doesn't behaved. come from a place of loss. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm just finishing. So there's for Farah, Stevie, and Chloe. You guys are great. You know this. Um, Chloe, yeah, you're so cheery and great all the time. I don't know how it makes me nauseous, but it does. I don't have any women in my life who prance around like you do. Uh, you're wearing a tiara right now. I think that's a perfect example of that. I think you're a very delicate, graceful woman. Your cheeriness is just annoying to me. Because you don't have any. Gail, give the name of your first nomination and explain your reasons for your nomination. You won't be surprised. Chloe and Stevie, I do find that they're not very up on, like, cleaning up, and you know that I love cleaning. There's things lying around, and it, it just upsets me, things like that. I just think that if they don't pay attention to where things are, I get wound up. It's that simple. You know, you're very gorgeous and, and lovely and airy fairy and it's so opposite to me. I'm like an elephant and it's a bit like that. <laughs> and then she's a bit like that. Well, my second nomination, Bobby, apologies, but the two reasons are, first reason, when we were being kings and queens and, and being British, and I kept saying to you, please stop being horrible to the Americans, and you were really mean, and it really offended me. But also, the second reason, I think that it would be good for you to be at home with people that you love, but no. That's lovely of you. Thank you, Gail. Hello, housemates. How are you? All right, guys. Hello. Okay. Farrah, my first choice. OK, I'm, as you know, certain things you have said to my men, James and Bob's, sort of uh, offended me. You know, James' sexuality and all that, and Bob's family and all that. And that's why I'm nominating yourself, Farrah. I pay point. I picked this person primarily because I knew that no one else would nominate them. It's Austin who hates my cherry nurse. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Austin, that you hate my cherry nurse. Um, I think you're a really lovely boy, but I don't think you quite understand us as a couple. I think you're really lovely. <laughs> I know that came from nowhere. That's what I mean. You just laugh at me. You laugh at me when my back is turned and you pick on Janice and it's disgusting. 
some of the things you say about her. It really is. She's a 60-year-old woman. I think you should have some respect for her. And it hurts me to hear you say these things about her. And you're probably going to do the same about me. The example this morning, when you made fun of my accent, which really hurt me, and then you sniggered at what I was wearing this evening. I'm sorry that I'm not what you're accustomed to. I really am. But I hope to God my family are proud of me at the end of this. Well yeah. done! Well done! Well done. Well done. <clears throat> the first one that I picked was Chloe yeah. and, and Stephen. But I'm going to tell you why. Y'all are the strongest people in here. And y'all have... The, I'm, I'll pick the two people who I think have the most chance to win. Y'all are cutting the mustard. I think when it's over and Sammy. done... I'm talking, so What's let me, don't worry that? about, they know what I'm talking about, so that's fine. I'm not going to get out of line with you, Miss Dickinson, because I love you and I respect you, but I'm talking right now, so I let apologize. me do my thing. Now, there are things that affect me, public displays of affection, but I will say one thing that I had that you did, that I did address, the way that you got on, on Austin right now, I applaud you for that. That's no bullshit, no nothing. When somebody, somebody got a problem with you, fuck them and fuck them where they live, all right? That's it. That's it. Nobody has to like anybody in here. It is what it is. That's number one. Number two, I'm going to pick Sherry. I, I, I don't have a lot of communication with you. I don't talk with you. But I definitely think that you are dangerous as shit. You are elder. You are very respected. And if, and if you go, it could break everybody down. Now, I understand that this game is starting to become some other shit. I thought it was going to be kumbaya and holding hands, but it's not. I understand that. I, I, look, I've been the president. I've been, had a lot of stuff That's on rude. my mind. I'm talking. I didn't have no problem when you basically jumped over American lines and did what you did. I still don't have no problem with you, but you're gonna let me talk the way that I'm gonna talk right now. So that's that. That's that. When we all get out, we're gonna have a drink and we're fucking going to a therapist. And that's the bottom line. Okay. This is the truth. That's the truth. <sighs> <laughs> this is Big Brother. The housemates facing Friday's eviction are... Me. Bobby. Farrah. Gail. Jenna. And... Stevie and Chloe Jasmine. See that? Face-to-face -face nominations are now over. Coming up, Jenna calls out Janice. Don't be fake. No, that I was so uncool, fake. and I will call you out on that. That was fake. And Farrah fumes. Do not fucking call me in here when I'm standing up for myself. You can call in the person who is trashy, disgusting, full of Satan, and you can talk to them. Expect highly offensive language. Eleven fifty-two p.m. It's been three minutes since housemates finished making their face-to-face -face nominations. I'm fine. I'm not worried about it. I'm fine. I can take it. This is changing the whole lineup right now. Shows who's the fake ass motherfuckers, lying ass motherfuckers. Well, that was interesting. That was. I'm bad. up again on Friday, motherfuckers. Come on. How many times Bring can I get on. my makeup Bring done? It on. How many <laughs> times do I get my makeup done? Gail, you're a bad bitch. <laughs> Good for you, Gail. You are a bad ass girl. But if it was only you, mate, yeah, you'd be fucking sat right here all day. Oh, thanks, mate. Mm. I think it's now she's an individual, mate, and she should never change. Never. For anybody. Because that's who she is. And you know what? Fuck the people that don't get you. Because they do not matter. Because mm. they ain't going to help your life. So fuck them. Yeah, no, I appreciate don't that. Don't worry about it. It's fine. No. Listen, you were so good today. You've grown, in my estimations, so fucking much, for being honest. I just want to say this, because I never said anything about her accent. I said, the way that you speak is just way too much for me to handle at 6 o'clock in the morning. Anyway. In it. Massive yeah. row taking place. Well, I won't get involved. I'm sorry about the tips coming, Massive row well. taking you haven't place right off. now. <laughs> it's still massive. It's massive tits, man. Look, it is what it is. I stand by my nominations. As do I. And I'll still talk to them, but I'm sure they won't to me, so. 
I am most disappointed in Janice. I'm disappointed that I waste too much goddamn time in that idiot. Who, James? Yeah, no. Or Austin, who? Yeah, Austin. It just, you know what, that's him siding with James. All I know is I'm not talking to anyone who says I haven't talked to them enough, like Sherry's cop-out, bullshit. And me? I talk to her all the fucking time, dude. How many times do you need a proper talk no, to someone? That's just her balling up Th- That's like Natasha. their cheap way out. That's, that's a whack. Their cheap way, way out. out. That's like fake and stupid. Mm-hmm. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Crazy town. You're all right, Farah. I'm a tough ass bitch. I'm always all right. And I'm not going to have anyone drag me down with their negativity. Did I vote for you? Nope. Don't be fake. No, that I was so uncool, Janice, I and I will call you out on that. Just, that was and I'm not fake. just mad at you. I just really would appreciate that all the Americans want to vote for Americans. Another team person did, too. I voted yeah, for one on each like team. Homies, dude. That was crazy, Janice. Well, it's yeah, just, it's just a, game. a game. But don't don't feed us a line of bullshit. It's just a game. Twelve nineteen a.m. Farah is offloading. I would just like to share how I feel, so hopefully your British public understands what I deal with in this home and can better understand me. Some of your British have Satan inside of them, so I really try to help share this with others, so that I'm not looked at as a person who has anger for no reason. Natasha's issues, as soon as I came in the door, I will always stand up for myself as I know I'm a bigger person than she is. And I really wish her all the best and her jealousy towards women needs to stop. The Bobby situation, I'm blessed that I have the power and I have the strength to stand up and not let anyone tell me that I'm vile, that I'm negative, that I'm ugly, that I'm anything derogatory. Because you know what? Every girl, every man out there is a beautiful person and do not listen to anyone who behaves, holds himself like that, spreads negativity in the house, that is disgusting and that is against God's will. Bobby is explaining his nomination of Farah. It's not my wish to hurt a soul, I swear to you. That isn't what I am. But I'm, <coughs> I'm a man that likes a bit of justice and a bit of... And you know what? Never would that have happened in America. Okay. She needed that. She, she didn't take it on board, but she needed it. All we can do is try. I wasn't nasty or I wasn't, I wasn't vicious. I didn't swear, I didn't raise my voice. I just addressed the ugliness that lives within her. And I'm sorry if I've embarrassed you. I'm sorry if I've upset the house. Bobby, you're good. But she won't have yeah, a war with me. I'm glad you're here, mate. There won't be a war with me. <laughs> Are you fuming, love? Am I fuming? Yeah. No. Oh, right. What? Jenna's got a problem. She can come and talk to me civilly, and if she shouts at me, then I'll tell her to fuck off. James and Jenna are talking about the night's events. That wasn't easy. That was fucking horrible. Mm. Horrible. And now it's like I feel fucked up for who I picked because... I had no idea who was so fake. You know what, I think Natasha, you... like, listen, let me tell you something. Yeah, we've had our words. I've d- I respect her, and I think that's fucked up. Obviously, Farah, she just went through fucking hell. I don't care what she's she, done, she, she... that was fucked up. But what we're, I don't what care. What you've got to remember is it's just his opinion. That was abusive. But then she went and proved herself of who she actually... Of everything everybody was saying, Listen, I'm it. sorry, but if somebody said that I was a vile human being, mm. you know, even though I lost my cool for a second with Natasha, I called her a fake ass bitch. Maybe it's something you can talk to Natasha about, I don't know. And... There's no going back from that with me. She's fucked. <laughs> 1.29 a.m. Farah has been in the diary room for one hour and 19 minutes. You know what? 
No one else deals with as much shit or handles as much shit in this house as I do. And everyone else who feels the same way as Bobby, I'll pray for you. I just have to say and be real because that's all I can be. And I'm no longer engaging. And I will never do a group nomination ever again. Farah, do you feel happy to go back into the house now? No, I don't. No, I feel like I should act like a psycho and then take it to some whole other level so you fucking get what a psycho looks like. Because apparently you don't get what I say. I mean, could I go on about how much bullshit I have to deal with? So I think I'm going to just fucking sit in here probably all night. That's what I feel like. Gail, Austin and James are discussing the nominations. I think everybody got a nomination, didn't they? Did Janice get nominated? No. no. She's the only one. <laughs> How did the fuck <laughs> did that, that happen? happen? She's playing the game, brother. She's not stupid, is she? Or she's we're not. not. No, she's not stupid. She's been around a long time. Was she the only Are you one? having another ciggy or are you coming for a bit of fresh air? I've just come to sit with you guys. Was Janice the only one that never got nominated? Yeah. Yep. Really? Yeah. <laughs> How does Sherry Houston get a nomination before Janice Dickinson? Unbelievable. Bobby has come to clear the air with Jenna. I'm, yeah, I'm sorry, sorry, Bobby. I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna just say I, I had to say something, and I really. Oh, it was I, rough. It is oh, it's rough. what you felt, man. It's rough, and I, I just wanted to say, and I'll say it to Farah. We've been getting on great. I don't have. We can still get on great. Yeah. You've just got to understand. Just understand that when somebody. Attacks. I know why she attacks. I, I've tried to understand the pain that she keeps inside. We've all got shit in us. Yeah. I've got I know, some terrible do. sadness, but I don't attack people and I don't Me swear at them and I don't get personal. And I thought long and hard about this. No, so it makes sense to me. I, I just you know we don't all like have pain, pain, but I am not cruel. I'm. I'm one of the most. I'd like to think I was one of the most compassionate people. I'm not always. I'm not fucking godly. I've done loads of things I regret in life. And, and if it costs me no, my place in the house, no, I totally, I'll go out I and I'll it. hold my head up. And I don't want to fall out with Farah. I really am not a nasty man. I'm not a nasty man. I'll give you my word. No, I won't not. raise my voice at you. I, I won't swear not. at you. And I do not want to fall out. And I don't want to fall out with Farah. We've all got to live together. Farah, big brother called you to the diary room to see how you were feeling. I came in the diary room. Check that you were okay. Because I hit the fucking button so that I could let you know this, so that you were aware. Do not fucking call me in here when I'm standing up for myself. You can call in the person who is trashy, disgusting, full of Satan, and you can talk to them. Because I no longer will be coming in this fucking room if that shit goes down anymore. I just straight up fucking won't. This Friday is a fake double eviction and two housemates will enter a secret room. But what they won't know is that the joke will be on them as the other celebrities will know exactly what is going on and will be in on Big Brother's Big Twist. Which two housemates would you like to fake evict? From a landline call 090 20 44 24 and add the number of the housemate you want to fake evict. From a mobile call 6 44 24 and add the number of the housemate you want to fake evict. For Bobby, add or two. For Farah, add or five. For Gil, add or six. For Jenna, add or nine. For Stevie and Chloe Jasmine, add 13. Calls to the long number will cost 50p plus your network access charge. Calls to the short number will cost 50p. Or you can vote via the Big Brother app, where two votes will cost you 99p. Voting closes in Friday's eviction show. If you're watching on Catch Up after that or outside the UK, please don't vote. Votes cast after lines clause won't count. You can find terms on the Big Brother website. 
So it's Rylan with Bit on the Side at 11. We've an amazing team making us feel very welcome here on Channel 5. When we pop by the special Needs Hotel, catch that brand new tomorrow at 10. Next tonight, is the governor about to crack? Find out as we head to New Wentworth Prison in just a sec.